Got some news out of Eugene, Oregon, Auburn's first opponent. The Oregon Ducks will have to po- will, well, they won't necessarily have to, but they decided to postpone uh, spring practice until this coming Saturday. The reason being Andy Avalos was recently inducted as the defensive coordinator. So in an effort to get with his staff and get with the players and really to kind of talk about um, where this defense is headed and some of his philosophies and what he expects out of his players, you know, uh, Mario Cristobal is like, hey, we can hold this thing off until Saturday. Once again, it's Case Through the Goat for Vernon Speak Sports, mostly talking about Auburn football and the rest of the SEC. I want to give a shout out to my fearless and true gang, War Eagle. Oregon will have practice Saturday, then Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of next week and ending on Saturday. And they'll have a break for almost two weeks before coming back April 2nd, then the spring game, which will more than likely feature Kayvon Thibodeau because he is enrolled on campus among the six signees that are will be participating in spring practice. Now, this is going to be considered and I think is Auburn, I mean, Oregon's best recruiting class ever. And they and some of those guys will be obviously on the scene for spring practice. Justin Herbert, who is the returning starting quarterback, is expected to compete for the Heisman Trophy after completing 59.4% of his passes last year for 3,151 yards, 29 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. One thing I have noticed about Justin Herbert is he not he's not really a huge threat to run the ball, but he's capable of running the ball. He had 71 rushing attempts for 166 yards with a long of 37 yards. Now, here's the story on Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert was not a highly recruited quarterback, which is kind of not justifiable considering how he's turned out. Back in 2016, he was actually considered on the lower end of the three stars, three star quarterbacks. First of all, he's way up in Oregon, man. A lot of these guys are not trying to arrange visits and all this other stuff uh, to come up to Oregon to see a guy that's not necessarily a bad quarterback, but he just wasn't a guy that just jumps off film that says this is a guy that we have to have. And it didn't help that he was among some of the best quarterbacks uh, in of our time of this of this particular era of college football. Jalen Hurts, uh, Shea Patterson, Jacob Eason, who's going to be going to the University of Washington um, and also Woody Barrett, who you know didn't quite pan out at Auburn, but still a good quarterback. Nonetheless, one thing that I can say that I did see on film that actually translates to how great uh, he is, uh, Justin Herbert is now, is he makes some incredible throws and he's very active with his with his feet. He, he, he doesn't waste steps. He's very active with his feet. And one thing I like about Justin Herbert is unlike a lot of quarterbacks, he makes the right type. He has the right form for the type of throw. For example, if he's throwing the screen, that thing is coming out very smooth. He doesn't overthrow or underthrow or um, throw the ball too hard. It's a perfect release. And you even saw that in his film in high school. Also, I love how he throws the intermediate route, how he can zip that thing in between the Sam or Will linebacker in between the free safety and make those elite throws that's going to translate into him making a lot of money in the NFL come next year. But you just wouldn't believe based on his result that he was a three-star quarterback out of high school. Man, that that just kind of caught me off guard. Anyway, look forward to seeing how spring practice progresses for the Oregon Ducks. Once again, it's Case Due to Go for Vernon Speak Sports, mostly talking about Auburn football and the rest of the SEC. I want to give a shout out to my fearless and true gang, War Eagle.